Okay, so firstly, let me introduce myself. Okay, I'm Dr. Go Wan In, and my email is wigoh at uthn.edu.my. If you have any inquiries, you can email me. And my room is located at M157 Northeast Tower Level 1 FCAS, FCAP Buildings. Okay, and this uh, slides, the series of slides is for the BFC 20802 Computer Programming. Okay, so introductions to computer and programming. So this video is about the introductions. Okay. Okay, so what is computer? So computer is an electronic device operating under the control of instructions stored in its own memory. So there are two major components, which is hardware and software. Okay, so why program? Okay, computer is programmable machines designed to follow instructions. And program is the instructions in computer memory to take to make it do something and you as programmer okay person who writes instructions which is the program to make pro computer perform a task so without programmers there's no program and when there is no program a computer cannot do anything okay so type of computers you can see that we have personal computers we have mobile computers mobile device game consoles servers mainframe supercomputer and embedded computer there are many types of computer okay so computer components you must have the inputs okay and then you have the central unit which is the cpu okay and then we have the main memory and then we have the output device. Output device, you have printer, you have speaker, you have the screen, which is display some output. Okay. And then we also have the second story, a secondary storage device, which is the pen drive, the hard disk, and so on. So the computer components, the architecture of a typical computer usually consists of which is a CPU, okay? CPU is a system unit, which is the power of computer, consists of ALU and control unit, and main memories, RAM and ROM, and then store information to be processed in instruction on how to process information, and second storage, okay? And peripherals device, which is the in input device, output and in input and output device. So input, you have keyboards, mouse laser pointer digital pens and anything which is giving you input okay and then the output is the monitors lcd screen printers pickles okay and then the communication device okay enable a computer to send and receive data instructions and information okay and not some reference books show the basic components of typical computer is cpu main memory second memory is storage device and input device and output device so this is the computer architecture you can see the basic hardware component okay so you can see that this is the keyboard okay and this is the input which is the input device and then you have the cpu you have the second secondary storage device and you have the output device okay and then the organizations of cpu okay so you can see that the input device is the instruction input okay which is the input and this CPU system, okay, which is the ALU, the arithmetic logic unit, and also the control unit, okay. And then they have the disk and tap, the hard disk, the pen drive, and then the output, which is giving you the result. Okay, the CPU comprise of control unit, which is retrieve and decodes programs instruction, coordinates activities of all other parts of computer, arithmetic and logic unit, which is the hardware optimized by high speed numeric calculations and hard way designed for true false yes no decisions okay and then the main memory is volatile okay and then main memory is erased when program terminates or computer is turned off and also called random access memory which is the ram of the computer and organized as follows and then it's organized by bits or bytes bits is the smallest piece of memory has a value of zero of or false and then one is on or true and bytes is like eight conservative bits bytes has address okay then you can see that this is the address search is byte in the memory is identified by a unique number known as address okay 
So secondary storage is the non-volatile data retained when computer is not running or computer is off. Basically, it is like hard disk, pen drive, USB, and so on. Okay, input. Okay, it's the keyboard, mouse, scanners, digital cameras, microphones, disk drive, and CD-ROM, which is giving you the input. Okay, the output is also I explained before. Okay, it's the computer monitor, printer. Okay. So this is the CPU. Okay, and then this is the unit of the I/O bridge. Okay, and then there are two categories of software of computer. So there are system software and there is application software. So system software normally supplied by the manufacturer of the computer consists of utilities program and operating aids that facilitate the use and the performance of the computer. It includes the computer operating system and related software that manage the system resource and control the operations of the hardware. And what is application software? Application software is designed to perform a specific task such as cost registration, banking, general, general purpose such as processor and may be required by purchasing of the shell of by designing for own purpose. And of the shell is pre-written and ready to use. And also by custom written, written in house by in house and consulting firm or software house. And where are the application and system form? So you can see that actually the system software, okay, is like IMAX, Windows, Unix, Linux, machine language. And application software is like Microsoft Office, Notepad, program language such as C, C, Python, Visual Basic, and so on. Okay, user can directly understand and use the software, which is the application software. Interpreter is used to interpret high level language to low level language and so on. Okay, this is the interpreter and user will communicate with the system easier. So you need to know what is interpreter, what is application software and what is the soft system software. Okay, and program and programming language. So a program is a set of instructions that the computer follows to perform a task. So we will start with an algorithm, which is a set of well-defined steps. Okay, you must have an algorithm before you start your program. So this is an example of algorithm for calculate, calculating area of a rectangle. Okay, so rectangle, you can see that. A start, at start, the program will show a welcome dis display for the user to mention that the program is to be used to calculate the area of rectangular. Okay, the program will ask the user to enter the length of the rectangle. Okay, and then the user will enter the value of length. So the program will ask the user to enter the height. And also the user will follow the instruction by enter the height. And the program then calculate the area of rectangular based on the user input. And after the calculation, so the program will finally display the result of the area that being calculated based on the input. So this is what we call the algorithm. Okay, this is a step like how it's from the start to the end. Okay, so the previous sections, the algorithms define the step for calculating the areas of a rectangle, but it is not ready to be executed on the comp computer. So the computer only execute machine language instructions. Okay, so the algorithms is just to prepare and then let us know what is the step. But then we need to use machine language for the computer. Okay, machine language are binary numbers such as 1, 0, 1, 1, okay, 1 and 0. Rather than writing programs in machine language, programming and programmers use programming language. Okay, so type of languages, there is low level and also high level. Low level used for communications with computer hardware directly often written in binary machine language which is 0 or 1. And high level is close to human language. Okay. So some well-known high level language. Okay. So here is list of the examples. Okay. So for this coming uh, most videos we will use Python. Okay. So for those students who are taking the BFC 20802 since years uh, 20, uh, 2019, we already start to use Python instead of C++. Okay. So from a high level program to an executable file. Okay. So number one, we create a file containing the program with a text editor. 
and then we run the preprocessor to convert source file directive to source code program statement okay and then we run compiler to convert source program to machine instructions and then we run linker to connect hardware specific code to machine instruction producing an executable files okay step one to four are often performed by a single commands or buttons clicks error detected at any step will prevent execution of following so of course if you have error you need to repair it and solve it else your program cannot be run okay so from a high level program to an executable files the step is from source code which is we need to have the source code we prepare and then it will go to the preprocessor and if it's, there's any error we need to modify the source code and then it will compile through the compiler and then it become the object code and then if you have any link so you will use the linker and become the executable code okay so this is the introduction so wait for the next video for more in uh, explanations okay bye bye